In this video, we are going to talk about system of equations. We are going to focus more on how to solve simultaneous equations involving one linear equation and a quadratic or a non-quadratic equation. There are so many ways in solving simultaneous equations. However, in this video, we are going to consider the method of substitution. So let's begin with this example. If x plus y is equal to 5 and x times y is equal to 6. How do we solve these two equations simultaneously? What are the values of x and y? To solve for x and y, we first need to make either x or y the subject from any of the two equations. Let's make x the subject from the first equation. To do so, we just need to transpose y to the right hand side. So we are going to have x is equal to 5 minus y. Let's call this equation 3. Next, let's substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So we are going to have 5 minus y into bracket times y is equal to 6. Now 5 times y is 5y. And then negative y times y is negative y squared. Now let's transpose 5 minus y squared to the right hand side. So it's going to be y squared minus 5y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now the coefficient of the y squared term is 1. And then the constant is 6. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Now the factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and then 2 and 3. Now his set of values multiply to 6 and then add up to negative 5. Negative 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 5. So we can select 2 and 3. So the equation can be expanded to have y squared minus 2y minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. The GCF between y squared and negative 2y is y. So we have y on the outside. And then y squared divided by y is y. And then negative 2y divided by y is negative 2. We have negative 3 into brackets y minus 2 is equal to 0. So we are going to have y minus 3 and then y minus 2 to be equal to 0. So y is equal to 3 and then y is equal to 2. So these are the values of y. To find the values of x, we need to substitute the values of y into equation 3. When y is equal to 3, x is equal to 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So we have x to be equal to 2. And then when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 5 minus 2. And then 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So these are the values of x and y. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. And when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2. Let's solve another example. What are the values of x and y if x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 and y minus x is equal to 1? Straight away, let's make y the subject from equation 2 and substitute into equation 1. Now from equation 2, y is equal to 1 plus x. Let's call this equation 3 and substitute that into equation 1. So we have x squared plus 1 plus x all squared is equal to 5. 1 plus x all squared is the same as 1 plus x times 1 plus x is equal to 5. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times x is x and x times 1 is x. So x plus x is 2x. x times x is x squared. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared plus 2x 
plus 1 minus 5, which is equal to 0. So we have 2x squared plus 2x. And then 1 minus 5 is negative 4, is equal to 0. Since 2 is common to each term, let's factor out 2. So we have x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now the coefficient of the x squared term is 1. And then the constant is negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 is equal to negative 2. And factors of negative 2 are negative 1 and 2. So we can expand this equation to have x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now the GCF between x squared and negative x is x. And then x squared divided by x is x. And then negative x divided by x is 1. So we have 2 into bracket x minus 1 is equal to 0. So that we have x plus 2 and then x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 2 and then x is equal to 1. Now let's substitute this set of values into equation 3. Now when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 1 minus 2. And then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So y is equal to negative 1. And then when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 plus 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 1. And when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. So that's it for today's video.